Okay, so back pain. So if I had back pain, what I would do is I'd close my eyes and uh, let go of all thoughts. Let go of all thoughts or mentalization. Don't label it pain, because even the word pain is a label. Just let go of all thoughts and just be with... Uh, it's just allowing... Now, the thing with pain is you want to have 100% the opposite direction of what the ego would do. So the ego would not want the pain to experience the pain. But actually what's happening now, not with your ego, but it's like an intention to like fully experience the pain with zero resistance. Like welcome it 100%. That like there's nothing in the consciousness that does not want to experience it 100% at maximum intensity. So, so that is the, you know, not with thought, but it's like uh, just having an ego, you know, anytime there's pain, the ego is always not wanting the pain to be there, is subtly trying to push it back or not experience it or to numb out. But here you're letting go of all thought and you're like 100%. It'd be like if someone was to push a knife into you, it'd be like you want to 100% experience that and, and welcome it so you can feel it at the max. So in every moment, you're feeling the pain at the max without any thought. And so as you do that, usually you'll have like a sharp intensity where it will increase. And then what you're doing is you're trying to tune in, uh, even though there's no ego there, it's like you want to be on the, you want to be 100% experiencing it without any resistance and without any thought. And it's almost like a synchronization. Because what you'll find is that in the beginning, your, the ego is actually, even though you're not trying to label or call it and welcome it, there will still be some residual resistance that will be unconsciously going on to the pain. So you're trying to dissolve the residual resistance. And then at a certain point, like when I used to have pain, depending on how severe it is, it might take between um, 5 and 40 minutes. Uh, to sort of burn out any resistance, unconscious resistance, so that you become one with the pain. And at a certain point you become one with the pain and it's like the pain becomes, there's a pleasure to the pain because you're 100% with the pain without resistance. And when you're in the pleasure, then at a certain, and then you just stay in that and then it will dissolve out and then eventually you go to bliss. Now, uh, this can be done with, with back pain. Some of the most severe pain I've had was gout pain. And in the early days, I would let go of all labelling uh, and uh, it would maybe be 20 to 40 minutes of severe pain as I was letting go of the resistance. And then it become like beautifully, like a oneness with the pain, which is pleasurable. And then the oneness with the pain would start to dissolve and it would start, the pain would then start to vanish. And then you'd go into bliss. And that process could take anything between, uh, in the beginning, it, I remember once it took four hours, but then uh, it would take less and less time because you're dissolving more and more, and then these pains vanish and you have them no longer. So th that's the thing. The main thing with pain is to be 100%, is to have the attitude of like, not mentally, but it's an attitude to life, in fact, which you develop through the field of feelings, is like when anything happens, welcome it 100% without resistance. And pain is a, is a different type of uh, energy where it's critically important that you get to zero resistance as fast as possible. So you really want to welcome it. You want to welcome it. I always, I always have, if you were to use metaphorical images, it's like if you know someone's going to stab you with a knife, you want to be 100% present and experience it 100% without resistance as the knife is going in. To have no attitude of not wanting to experience it, to fight it, to wish it to be numb. You experience it 100% with no resistance in every moment that it's happening. And uh, if you're able to do that perfectly, which you can do sometimes if grace is with you, then you will not experience any pain whatsoever. I once had that where there was a huge needle being placed into my arm and I had the intention to experience it 100% without resistance. I didn't experience anything, I, I, went, I nearly lost consciousness and went off into bliss. 
as, uh, as they were pushing in. So if you do it correctly, uh, you won't even experience it, or with cramps, if you can experience with no resistance from the first place to the second, you don't experience anything whatsoever. So as you practice this thing with pain, and you become better and better at it, if you can do it with no resistance from the first bit, sometimes you don't experience it, or even if you experience horrific pain, if you can get into tune so that you're in non-resistance with it and go into oneness, the trick is to do that as quickly as possible. And it's, it's developing one, the 180 reverse attitude to what every human being has to pain. It's like fully, it's not mentally, with your, with your spirit, you want to experience it 100% with non-resistance in every moment, with no ego thinking or labeling or no images, just 100% raw experiencing with zero resistance. You have to get there as quickly as possible because it's in your best interests.